Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back again today with just another pickups video, and I know I said in my last video, like two days ago or so, that uh, I wasn't going to do a pickups video soon because I didn't have enough stuff to do one, but today I had plans that got cancelled, and I was already out of my house, and I figured, hey, might as well go and look for some games. So I went and found some games, and of course I bought some. And, yeah, so I'm going to just do a pickups video so, you know, I can file them away and play them without uh, having to worry about where I put them for later. So, yeah, let's get into these. I have a... it's mostly retro stuff this time. Actually, it's all retro stuff this time. So, yeah, I, I think people enjoy the retro stuff more than new stuff anyway. So, we'll, we'll start with uh, some Super Famicom games. And the first one we got here is Romancing Saga 2. Now, the Saga series is, I don't know, it didn't get a fair shot, I think. It, it never got released in the US on the, on the Super Nintendo. And Saga 2 and, well, the first one, Romancing Saga, got remade on the PlayStation 2. So, there is a translation of it. It's just on the PlayStation 2, and not for the Super Famicom. And this one, though, Romancing Saga 2, never got a translation. It's I, I haven't I haven't played this one, but uh, I've played the other ones in the series. I've played all the PlayStation ones, Romancing Sa uh, Saga Frontier and Saga Frontier 2, which I loved both of those. Those were great games. And... Uh, I never played the PlayStation 2 saga that everybody hated, but uh, <laughs> this one uh, I'm looking forward to should be interesting. If you've never actually, if you never played the Game Boy versions, the original Game Boy has two saga games that were Final Fantasy something in uh, in the U.S., but they're actually saga games, and those are great. I love those because the uh, I really like the monster class, where you could eat the meat of monsters you killed and turn into a new monster. I thought that was a great uh, mechanic. So, uh, I really like that, and robots and stuff you can use. I like the party members. I thought that was a really good idea. But um, the Saga series is pretty good, so you should probably check it out if you haven't. And uh, we got another one here. This is Phalanx. And Phalanx is a 2D side-scrolling shooter. Um, you might know it. It it has a uh, there is a Super Nintendo release of this game, but it's bizarrely it's like uh, the the cover for the box is like this redneck old dude with a huge beard playing a banjo. Like it doesn't make any sense. Like I always wondered like who is gonna buy this game with that cover because it has nothing to do with the content of the game, which is actually like a shmup. Um. This game is actually a, kind of like UN Squadron, but not not quite as awesome as that. But you know, it's a pretty competent 2D side-scrolling shooter. So it was it was a hundred yen. I couldn't pass it up. And the last the last Super Famicom game I got here is is a good one. It's actually a pretty good one, and it's a loose one. And I usually don't buy loose loose uh, Super Famicom cards, but. Uh, this one I made an exception for, because it was really cheap and it's really good. Final Fight 2. And Final Fight, the original Final Fight is actually my most bought game. So I have it for everything. I have it for I have it for the Super Nintendo, I have it for the Game Boy Advance, I have it for the Sega CD. I even have Mighty Final Fight for the, <laughs> for the Famicom. But, uh, and of course I have it for Xbox Live. And... It's I have it for pretty much everything. I love Final Fight. It's my favorite beat em up. And Final Fight Two I remember having as a kid, but I haven't played it in a long time. So I, I I don't think it's as good as Final Fight One, but it's still a good Final Fight game, so Final Fight Two, it was also a hundred yen, which is like a buck twenty or something. It's not that not that expensive. So uh pretty good find I thought. And next we're going to move on to a topic that I like more than anything, which is the PC Engine. 
And I got a bunch of stuff that I... These are mostly rebuys. It's stuff I already have on the Turbo Graphics or st stuff that I have like a different edition of. But, you know, it was these were all pretty cheap, so I can't really complain. The first one here is uh, Tengai Makyo Ziria, which is uh, far east of Eden. And this series is... Uh, I know Happy Console Gamer did like a talk about this series and it's it's a pretty good series. I don't like love it, but it's not a bad series and uh it's it's definitely something you should check out. Um this is this one it was uh it's like a special edition. There's a regular edition that I already have and this one is like it looks like it has an extra disc, but it it's I mean it's a it's a dual case, but the dual case part has nothing to do with the second disc. It actually, uh, in the back, there's just this, which is stickers. And on the bottom, it's saying, like, uh, attach these stickers to your CD-ROM system. Like, put them on the system, and then, like, uh, there's this, this one here, which is, like, a circular one that's supposed to go on the, on the top. And, no, I don't think anybody did that, but, Maybe it would look cool, but probably not. Uh, probably it would just ruin the system. And I'm not doing that anyway, but... You know... It's kind of an interesting thing to have. There is a non-sticker edition of this game. It's actually... It's weird because, like, the sticker edition, you'd think, like, Oh, that's like the special edition. It must be more expensive, but it's not. The Actually, the uh, the other one is more, more rare. It's not, like, super rare or anything. It's just... The, the cost is, like, ten times as much. Which is still almost nothing for uh, for that game, but uh, anyway, uh, we'll continue on with another great for the uh, PC Engine, and this is uh, East Book One and Two, and East One and Two is, I mean, if you haven't played it, pick it up. It's it's on everything. Like you can get it for pretty much any system you can think of. Um, it's been ported a million times to a bunch of different systems. Lately it's been on the PSP, I believe, but you can get a Famicom version, you can get the PC Engine version, there's of course TurboGrafx version, which is in English, so, you know, English. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of versions, I believe PSP, and, you know, if you haven't played the E series, you should get on that, because it's, it's a pretty good series, and, uh, you know, there's a reason it's there's so many sequels and so many people like it. But uh, let's continue on, and this is gonna get me hate because I'm gonna <laughs> it's already I'm gonna start saying stuff that makes people hate me. But uh, this game is Newtopia, and Newtopia I had as a kid actually on the Turbo Graphics, and this game is essentially a Zelda clone. But here's the, here's where people are gonna hate me. I like this game more than I like Zelda, and um, I think it's a better game. I mean, it's it's a blatant ripoff, but like it's it's one of those rare occasions where you th where like the copy does a better job. So, in my opinion, I know people are gonna be hating on me for that. Hate in the comments below. But <laughs> um, this is uh, Newtopia is essentially like. Uh, well, I always thought of it as like. Uh, Zelda with like a uh, different, slightly different story and uh, better enemies and better graphics. I don't know. I really love Utopia actually. Uh, there's a Utopia too, also, but uh, you know, for for my for my for my taste, uh, Utopia I like more than Zelda. And I haven't played a Zelda game since uh, you know I haven't actually played through an entire Zelda game since uh, the the NES days. And uh, you know, I would play through a new Newtopia game in a minute, but uh, <laughs> a new Zelda game, not excited. But uh, yeah, we'll continue with my last, my last new uh, PC Engine game, and this is Nikets Koko Dodgeball Bu Sakahin, which is uh, actually a uh, Kunio Kun Soccer. I'm not sure what uh, the English name for this is. I know there is one. I'm pretty sure it's like. This came out on the, the Nintendo as something soccer. I don't remember, but this is the PC Engine CD version. So you can imagine that it uh, looks a lot better than the 
Nintendo version, and it does, and it plays better. It's just a better version. If you and the best part about this actually is that it's on the CD. So if you like these games, if you like this game specifically, you can import it, and it you know it doesn't require any Japanese knowledge, and it works on the Turbo Graphics CD or a Turbo Duo if you have one of those. And you know you can play the superior version on the PC Engine, huh? Superior version of this Kunio Kun game. So, yeah, that's uh, the so Neketsu Koko Dodgeball Boo Soccer. <laughs> but yeah, we'll move on to, I uh, got a couple games for the Saturn here. And the first one, <laughs> and this game is like, uh, I don't know, I think some people like, uh, like to like it or like it like I like it. Um, this is <laughs> Last Bronx. And Last Bronx, I think, it's not a good... It's a fighter, but it's not a good one. <laughs> it just kind of... It has, serves like kind of a nostalgia piece for me. Like, I don't know why I... I have like a kind of a fondness for it, even though I don't think it's a good game. Um, but yeah, this is like a special edition. It comes with like a special special extra disc and a freaking Last Bronx poster. Yeah, Last Bronx poster. You wish you had this. No, you don't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Last Bronx. I don't know. Maybe some people like it. I, I think it's bad, but it's kind of goofy in a way that's enjoyable. Um, and we'll continue on. We've got another Far East of Eating game here. So, Ten Tengai Makyo 4. And this, uh, The Apocalypse is the subtitle there. Um, this is on the Saturn. I don't... I'm pretty sure none of these games ever got localized. But uh, maybe there was one or two, but who knows. I don't, I'm going to say zero. <laughs> I Correct me if I'm wrong. I can look it up, but I'm not going to do that. But yeah, on the Saturn, more Far East of Eden. And the last ones are two fighters that I've been wanting to play on the Saturn again. And they might... Saturn video, the Saturn video I did recently, I got the uh, first one of this, but this is the one I really wanted, which is Street Fighter Alpha 2 or Zero 2, if you're in Japan. And uh, the reason I like Zero 2 is because it's the first time you can you can select Dan as a character without like putting in a ridiculous cheat code. And um, I like... Dan is really like the character I used the most, probably, in Street Fighter 4. He's not my best character, but I like using him because I like being a jackass with him. Like, half of my time playing Street Fighter 4 online is just being a jackass with Dan. And that involves just, like, taunting incessantly for no reason. Like, just hit somebody and jump away and taunt a couple times and then start fighting again. Like, it just... I'm like a Dan troll on Street Fighter 4. If you want to play me... Definitely. If you have Xbox, <laughs> if you have Xbox Live and you like, you have a Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Definitely, uh, you can uh, take part in my Dan trolling. But uh, <laughs> yes, Alpha Zero, Alpha, Alpha Two, Zero or Zero Two, or whatever it is, is a great game, and I'm going to be playing that after I finish this video. And also, we have the last, the last of the Sega Saturn stuff I got is uh, World Heroes Perfect. And World Heroes is... I, I'm not even going to say it's an underrated fighter. It's not a very good fighter. I know it's not a very good fighter, but I like it. <laughs> I like World Heroes. And some people will agree with me. I know some other people that I'm uh, that might be watching this like World Heroes. And I used to play this a lot in the arcade. And it used to be next to a Street Fighter 2 machine that everybody used to play. So we used to play this and, well, World Heroes 2, actually, and Street Fighter 2, like, back and forth. So, you know, while you're waiting for people to finish their match, you just play on World Heroes 2. So, uh, if anybody, if anybody likes World Heroes, um, definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely, uh, chat me up about it, because, uh, I don't think anybody besides, like, my friends in the arcade, from the arcade days, will, like, uh, have any appreciation for this game. And, uh, I like Mudman, who's like the tiki mask wearing, uh, dude who shoots out spirit versions of himself. That's a good thing. I, I just like that game. It's, it's nostalgic for me. 
And the last thing I got here is, um, I remember, if you remember in a couple videos back, I said, like, I bought a bunch of PlayStation 2 games, and I was saying, like, oh, I can't even play these because uh, my PlayStation 2 broke. But I, I have a U.S. PlayStation 2 and a Japanese PlayStation 2 because, uh, you know, that's just how it worked out. But um, the Japanese one broke, like it stopped working. The video, I think the motherboard is fried because the video output doesn't work anymore. But uh, I got another PS2 here. And this one was like the Miracle PlayStation 2. Like it's a, it's a silver PlayStation 2. It's a fat PlayStation 2, but it's a silver one and it's complete in box. And it was like, a, I, I have like a local recycle shop where they, you know, it's like a thrift shop, but not. Um, and they occasionally get in games. Like, they have, like, this tiny, tiny game section where it's usually full of garbage, like a bunch of sports games only, or, like, a ton of, like, RPGs that everybody has, which is, like, usually the junk bin stuff in Japan. And there was there's usually that, but sometimes they get some new stuff that's exciting, and I pick that up, but, like, uh, I only stop in there like maybe once every month or so just to see if anything changed. And this time they had a couple of systems which they don't usually have. Sometimes they do, but they're usually like uh, Super Famicom or something. But so uh, this time they had a couple of PlayStation 2s in there, which is kind of awkward. Like usually they don't. They don't. And they had three PlayStation 2s in there actually, and uh, they had a slim and a white one and this boxed silver one. And the silver one is actually, uh, you know, it was it was the cheapest out of the three, which are, which is surprising because the other two didn't have boxes, and this one is, you know, it still has like all the wrappings and stuff on it. Like it looks like it really looks like mint. It looks like nobody ever used it. So uh, you know, it's still got all the styrofoam, and I'm taking it out of the package here, but uh, just to show you guys, like it's a it's a fat PlayStation Two that's silver. And, you know, it's the PlayStation logo is blue. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's like absolutely mint. There's not anything on it. There's like no scratches, no wear. It seriously looks like it's never been used. <laughs> I haven't uh, opened it up yet. So, uh, but yeah, this one was, it was really cheap. It was like less than $30 for, uh, boxed and complete silver PlayStation 2, which is pretty cheap in Japan, like, that's maybe not so, uh, maybe that's like a regular price in the US, but seriously, PlayStation 2s even used in Japan, even fat PlayStation 2s are usually about 60 or 70 dollars, like, at, at a shop, I mean, and the new, a new one is still like almost, a, it's probably more expensive than a Wii at this point, um, price just never drops for PlayStation 2s in Japan. They still sell. So, I don't know. I was pr feel pretty lucky to get this one for so cheap. And now I can finally get in on those uh, games that I wanted to talk about. Uh, there was uh, definitely a couple I wanted to play, but this video is overly long. Like It's nearly 20 minutes at this point. I didn't mean to be this long. But, you know, get me on a tangent about something and I'm all over the place. But uh, yeah, so I'll end it here, and I'll probably get some reviews up maybe over the weekend if I can get the editing done, but I did get some... I was able to take some footage with my kind of wonky capturing, so uh, I did get some stuff to uh, put a video together. So I'm going to try and put out a review as soon as I can get the editing done for it. So maybe when I have time this weekend. But until then, I'll, uh, you know... Catch you guys next time.